Yeah, that's our code word today. <laughs> Unlike our unofficially canceled one time only uh Mr. What? Producer created. We can we can talk about that, right? Why can't we talk about it? <laughs> I think mean, we can absolutely talk about it. How Mr. Producer treats us like we're children and chastises I us because we like the word pickle. Hi, everybody, and welcome to the Real Agents Podcast, a podcast where we talk about life, real estate, and everything in between. So if you like your insights and advice shaken and not stirred, well, then this is the podcast for you. That is Nicole Dash. And that's Eric Carrington. And we, and are, we are the Real, the real Agents. I hope I pointed in the right direction. I don't think there. you did, but that's okay. So... <clears throat> So, Eric, so, what? What right once we were getting geared up to do this yep. thing, yeah. you know, I put on my Facebook on my phone because I'm a Facebook addict. Uh, okay. I don't post all the time. I post, but whatever. Okay. Yeah, you do. I Beautiful do. post. I, I do. I do. Okay. Awesome so, posts. One of my many million mom groups that I'm on, um, someone writes this post. Who is the best realtor in Nova? Please don't say yourself. <laughs> I'm like, why did you open that can of worms? Right? That is just going to be non-stop. How, <laughs> how can you even, I mean, come on. How do you, well, okay, so obviously you're going to put my name down and then I'm going to put your name down. Right, right, that's what I'm thinking. I'm like, okay, I won't say myself. I'll just say Eric and then I wonder somebody. If there's, is there anyone know. who's going to get two votes? Yeah, I mean, I think people, people, okay, so I'm scanning it right now. Okay, 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 okay. what do you got? So what do you got? people are saying, oh, oh no, look, someone broke the rules. So I said, he, so-and-so, he's at, he's actually the best. The second comment, I would love to assist. I have sold several in Nova. I'll send you a PM. <laughs> I mean, what did this person think that these, that these people weren't going to contact her? Like what, I mean, I don't know. Or look, third comment, girl. You're about to get blown up. <laughs> That's the third comment on what? this post. Okay, so all right, all right, all right, all right. Please don't say yourself. What were they expecting someone to say? Oh, I worked with so and so, and they were amazing. I highly recommend them. Fine, but you're gonna get people. We're realtors. But we're yeah, all... what if you're a real estate agent? Then we're the answer is we're yeah. competing. We we're always think we're the best. I mean, we're competing with a lot of people. You have to think you're the best. You gotta have right. the mindset right. of being the best, right? Yeah, you have to. You have to right? have that mindset. It is so important. Which is the perfect segue, but I'm not ready to segue yet. I'm okay, not fine. Okay. because I I am I'm fired up. I'm fired up. I went to get dinner tonight and uh I'm starving. And we I live in Stafford. Yay, no one knows that. Um I live in Stafford and there's not a lot of new restaurants here. And we get this new restaurant, this Italian restaurant, and I'm not going to advertise them because uh they don't deserve it um but it was packed and i got there at 5 30 and by 6 45 i had not gotten my food what yes and it's 7 10 i was leaving i was so upset why do i feel like this happens in stafford a lot I feel like I've heard this before. Something well, similar. You know what? Like, it, 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 we what set is the this? bar low. <laughs> we set the bar low, right? Um, there's just not a lot there. And when something new comes in, everybody goes there. And you know, to the in their defense, they were overwhelmed. They were hammered, and yeah, it was a, it was a little discombobulated. But the model, their business model is flawed. I mean, it was um, it was set up for failure. And I just wanted to pull the manager over and give them all these little tips on how to do this better. But I just I just shut up and waited. You, and you were always, patient yes. and kind. Yes. Because that is your mindset when you are a realtor. It is, isn't it? It you is. Be supportive. You got to be supportive. supportive. So is that what we're talking about today? Is that why we keep saying mindset and not pickle? Yeah, that's our code word today. <laughs> Unlike our 
unofficially canceled one time only uh mr what? producer created we can we can talk about that right why can't we talk about it <laughs> yeah, i think we can absolutely talk about it how mr producer treats us like we're children and chastises I, us because we like the word pickle we like the word pickle which happened to be the word he told us we weren't allowed to say unless we wanted to stop recording what word was that <clears throat> pickle <laughs> <laughs> But no, it was canceled. That's no longer the word. Oh my anyway, God. <laughs> we're silly. Anyway, I'm excited right. about tonight's topic. It's yes. something we've talked about a lot uh, with yes. our team. Um, in fact, that was kind of the theme of last year's uh, what we call Bill Day or annual day of just like reflection and planning for the next year. And um, so I'm excited to talk about that today. You actually, um, yes. So our, our topic today is is about mindset. And I think we're going to take it from two different perspectives, um, helping clients with their mindset on the buy or the, or the sell side, and also the agent journey mindset. Uh, and um, you gave a very uh, well thought out, very articulate uh, uh, presentation on mindset at our, at one of our uh, group uh, meetings and and it was it was uh, it was phenomenal so uh, i'm anxious to hear kind of part two of that and and hear you take it in a in in maybe a little bit different direction because yeah you were mainly focused on the agent journey and and the personal uh perspective of mindset as, as a as a buyer agent or a listing agent but i'd love to hear your thoughts on on how you've adapted that to assist your clients as well um, so yeah, that's our topic today, which will, will, you know, and if, if it does go off the rails, we'll just go get a pickle. Sounds good. Right. <laughs> Mr. Producer. Love a pickle. Yeah. All right. So let's, uh, let's take a break. And then when we come back, we'll, uh, we'll talk about mindset. And we are back. And ready to talk about mindset. Please, Nicole, you were so, so wonderful when you gave this speech. I think it was last year. Um, please take it away and lead us into mindset from a real estate agent to client perspective. Well, I won't be giving my speech, but <laughs> I will share. That's so awesome. <laughs> I'll, we can talk a little bit about that. Um, okay. But before we start, I wanted to give kind of an overall definition, right? What is mindset? Please. I'm going to read this because I don't have it memorized. Mindset refers to a particular way of thinking, a set of beliefs, attitudes, and perspectives that shape how we interpret and respond to the world around us. So it's the what shapes the way we look at everything from yeah. how we yeah. do our jobs as realtors to how we face adversity in the face of trying to buy a home or trying to sell a home. Um, in everything you do. Uh, and I know that mindset is so important for what we do and how we help our clients because it can be stressful. Selling your home is a stressful situation. Yeah. And and I think <clears throat> it's so important that as the agent, you have a personal mindset of success because that that can be projected on your on your client as well. I mean, if you if you've got a for lack of a better term, if you've got a piss poor attitude. That's just going to, you're going to get that energy back to you. So um, I'm a big proponent of positive energy and, and that's what you're talking about here. It's, it's projecting that positive uh, uh, mindset perspective um, on all at facets of the process. Right? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And last year when we were at our build day where, which is kind of our planning um, annual planning day for our team, what I talked about was a mindset of resilience having a resilient mindset um, so that in the face of adversity, whatever it may be, instead of looking at it like um, it's the end of the world, right? When, when you yeah. have an objection, when your offer doesn't go through, when you have a home inspection report come your way that says you need a new roof, right? Or there's, as I've had one time, bats in your attic. <laughs> instead of like, losing it and feeling like, wow, this is, you know, this is a horrible situation, horrible experience. Instead, it's like, okay, well, we're one step closer. Yeah. Right. Like we're, yeah. Yeah. we're, we're getting there. We're getting, that's, we're getting yeah. to our goal. We're getting through the next hurdle, the next hurdle. Oh, we've got our answer. They didn't accept our offer. 
you got our answer. This house isn't for us, right? I mean, yeah. I'm sure you deal with that a lot. Well, and that, that your offers don't go through. <laughs> well, no, no, but that's that's the thing too. I mean, it, it, I can talk about it from from my standpoint. It's yeah, it, it's about that resilience and keeping that positive attitude when you write the offer, and and you know that it's you know it's probably not an offer that's going to be accepted, but you get the counter offer. That's a huge win. Yeah, that's a win. You know, as long as you're you're getting that interaction, that that feedback back from the from the seller. Um, that's something to be positive. That's that's a check in the right direction and in, in the correct box. And yeah, and it so much of that is 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 like you said about res, being resilient. Um, but the mindset it, it, you really it it's your perspective, right? It, it's it's how you want to steer your your business, your life, your career, um, and, and how you want the people around you to interpret you. Correct. I mean, exactly. No, exactly. And, and really as, as realtors guiding people through this process, the way we present information is so important and it it really, we have to check ourselves, right? We have to be like, okay, maybe we're talking to an agent on the other side and they're not the friendliest and you open the offer. Like on my side, I open the offer and I'm like, wow, hundred thousand under really, really I'm not going to say that to my client (laughs) say, listen, you know, you know, you, you, it's all, it's how you approach it, how you accept it. I said, you know what? We've got the first offer. This gets the ball rolling. It isn't exactly what we're looking for, but let's look at it. You know, this, this is, this is the first step in what we're looking for. Right. And so if I present it that way, they may or may not receive it depending on their mindset, but I try really hard to guide them in the direction of having a growth positive mindset yeah. rather than yeah. one of um, scarcity. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, it is a dance. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why dance is making me smile, but you do. <laughs> um, it, it, it is, it's, it's a tricky kind of thing to take things that could be negatives, but turn them into positives. And that is what, that what mindset is about. It's like, not focusing on what could derail us, but what moves us further along. And 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 a lot of th- times it's the same thing. You know, like you said, you got an offer that's a hundred thousand dollars low. There's a lot of agents out there where that will derail the whole thing. Right. But it's using that, taking that that one hundred thousand, that low ball offer, but turning it into a positive and working working from it and 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 guiding the ship in the direction that you want. Um, one of the things that uh, in my research about mindset, it, it talked about um, not having self-pity. Don't set yourself up for that that self-pity. And that's that's what that could be. Oh, how, how do we get in? Why do I always get these low offers? You know, And that's not the answer. The answer is, okay, we got an offer. That's awesome. We put we put it out there. We got an offer. Now we can work with it. You know what I mean? Um um, and and in 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 my standpoint, it's you know it's when you you're you're showing you're looking at houses and they're all kind of trash and and garbage and and you know you just you're feeling so there's no great houses out there inventory so low no that's not the attitude the attitude is we're going to kiss these frogs and we're going to find the one that turns into our prince or princess and you know just all right that house wasn't it on to the next one. Let's just keep going. We'll do it. We'll do it. We'll do it until we find that right one. And that's that. That's one of the mindsets that I like to. Um, and, and that's on both sides of it. Not only am I trying to set my client's mindset or perspective, but I'm keeping myself up too. You know, exactly. I'm I'm trying to maintain that that positive attitude of of this is just the process. You know, and and don't hate the game. You know it's it's or don't hate the player rather don't hate the hate player the hate the game but i don't hate anybody don't i don't hate them anyone all, ever <laughs> all all and um what are are there some examples that you can remember or think of recently where you had to kind of maybe switch up a mindset or really hammer on to a, a particular uh mindset that that helped the process um or is this something that it's always changing Yeah. And you know what? It's so dependent on the personality of the people that you're working with, because mindset is something you can try your best, 
But if someone is looks at life and the world in a certain way, it's oh. very hard to change their mind, right? Like, it's not my job to change who you are, but I'm going to present it in a way where hopefully you receive it in the best way possible. Because, you know, I, I had a client that we had put our the townhouse on the market. It was his father's home and he was the trustee in the estate. And so that's an emotional thing in the first place, right? And I think just his personality is very, um, just the half glass is half, is, is half empty rather than half full. I just think that's yeah. how he looks at everything. Yeah. And we, we got a good offer, negotiated a great price, great terms. We did have to have a home inspection, uh, which, you know, we're seeing more and more these days. Oh, yeah. And, you know. Thank you for that. By yes. <laughs> there was a list <laughs> of things that needed to be done. One of them was an electrical panel that I had my electrician looked at and for sure it needed to be replaced and it wasn't even grounded. So it just, wow. it, it had to be done and, and it's not a cheap thing. And you had, you had to get a permit yeah. for it. Um, and I think the second he found that out, he, it was a very much, my job was to try to say, Hey, look, you know, it's one electrical panel once we get this done, then we're turning over a safe home to them, you know, yes. <laughs> right? Try to, yes. You know, just like, and and they love the home. It's just this, this is a safety issue. Let's take care of it. And he just felt like, why are they trying to get something from me? I was reasonable from the beginning. And so, you know, just continuing to try to keep it positive, but at the same time, not too syrupy because- yeah. Someone yeah. like that doesn't appreciate it. And they feel like, no. what are you on? Are you That's the thing. Yeah. You yeah. know, it, it's a balance. It's a balance. Yeah, you, you, they have to feel like they're being, you're advocating for them as well. You know, right. um, and, and, and it, the same thing on the, on the seller on the buyer side, um, I'm dealing with a, a bit of a situation right now as well, where my client, I, I don't want to use the word unreasonable, but I've had to have a number of, uh, kind of explanation for lack of a better term, kind of come to Jesus type uh, explanations where either they just don't understand or they're thinking that the process is out to get them kind of thing, or that yes. the, the other side is constantly trying to manipulate them. And, and, you know, I don't want them to feel like they're always wrong. They're always, you know, got a, a a skewed perspective of what's going on, but they have to be told, you know, you do have to lay it out that no, this isn't, this isn't against you. This is just the process. This is just the way this works. And um, it is, it, it is so much personality driven and you can work with, uh, you know, dozens of people that, do everything the right way, listen to every conversation, but it's that one person that just doesn't get it or wants to do it the way they they're smarter than everyone else in the room that does kind of test everything. And that's when mindset I think is, is the most important because mind having the right mindset prepares you for those instances. Right. right? Exactly. It's, it's, yeah. It's when you do things the same way, every time 90% of the time, you know, it's like muscle memory, right? But it's those, it's that 10% or that 1% of the time where you need to think about this because you're preventing it from just right. going or or you losing your money. Um, and, and like so just today, uh, we, we we finished our rent back and, um, or, or the post-settlement occupancy expired. And during that time, it was a little bit contentious. I know as agents, we're supposed to step out nowadays. We're not really right. a part of it. But this particular client, if I let them handle all the conversations, it would have been a disaster. You know, every conversation would have ended in an argument and it would have just been a fist fight. So um, we get to the end of it. And, it, you know, a simple little innocuous thing where, hey, we had some... Uh, uh, we had some stuff delivered to the house by accident. And when I call the call the client to say, Hey, they said they had some stuff delivered. Oh, I just, I heard it. I heard it. Oh, we mm -hmm. saw them on our ring camera, come up to the front door. You tell them if they come to the front door again, we might have to call the police, that kind of stuff. Oh, no. And I was like, okay, 
just pump your brakes. This is just a one-time thing. We're going to make sure that this doesn't happen again. We'll get out in front of it, but we don't need to call the police on anyone in this in this instance. They just wanted to see if their their item was there. That's it. Right. That um, sounds and- like they need an adjustment in mindset too. Exactly. <laughs> and then awful. you're trying to, you know, no one's out to get you here. This is just human nature. They thought it was delivered. So they went to see if they can get it. And you know what? It wasn't there. So we'll handle it. Right. And on the other side, I'm probably going to have to call these people and go, hey, you're just going to have to chalk this up to as, as a loss. It's not anything like that important. I mean, we're talking about something that's probably 10 bucks. Yeah. Um. Now, I don't want to poo poo anybody's you know it's their stuff they they have the right to it but there's a good chance that stuff might have disappeared so right. everyone's mm-hmm. just got to have the mindset of you know what let's just get past this yeah it's not worth it that's not it, worth it's it. not it's yeah. not and i think so much of our job is about those type of little weird situations yeah and it and it's amazing how something like that can just sour a whole relationship and you know it's always interesting to me when i'm working hand in hand with a client and it's so positive. And it's just like, they're happy. They're actually happy with the work that was done and, and the way we stage the home. We get it on the market and we sell it in the first weekend and we have multiple offers <laughs> and we we have a void only home inspection. And it's just like, check, 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 check. And then it doesn't appraise. Yeah. And then it's like, yeah. The whole world has ended. Yeah. And I'm like, then the claws it's, come out. Yeah. And it's, and it's literally, we're talking less than $10,000, right? Something like that. Like close, not, not, we're not talking about $50,000 gap. We're mm-hmm. talking about small gap where, you know, reasonable people, we can meet halfway if we need to, you know, whatever. You, you had three offers and escalated 50,000 above in the first place. <laughs> That's probably why it didn't escalate. But they just, it's like one little adverse piece of adversity yeah. and they lose it. And yeah. it, it's just, that's, you can't live that way. You have to be able to have a clear head, keep things in perspective, because that's the key thing. And just remember, okay, yes, it didn't appraise. Okay, but we had three offers and it escalated and you're you're it's still in a net gain. <laughs> <laughs> even with this difference. So, um... you know, it, it, it's so funny. Like, like you bring up, I've been in that same situation a number of times. Um, and I don't know if I live in a Pollyanna world when I walk around with rose colored glasses, but I always expect people to be pulling on the same side of the rope. You know, um, mm-hmm. I always expect every seller to want to sell their house as much as my buyers want to buy their house, you know, and, and and I get negotiation, um, and I get that you never want to feel like you're being taken advantage of. But what I don't understand is when you or, or when a person absolutely just wants to take advantage of the other person, you know, right. um, like, no, I'm just going to be stubborn and I'm going to, you know, and negotiating a sales price is one thing. Right. But when you get into the whole, you know, now you're talking about, um, you know, the the home inspection items, um, things that are absolutely wrong with the home and the people like, nope, I'm not doing it. Nope, I'm not doing it. And it's like, well, don't you want to sell your house? You know, Um, or from the buyer standpoint, it's like, uh, you know, there's like little items, five dollar, ten dollar items. No, I absolutely need those outlets and I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to do anything until they give me those outlets or I'm going to back out of the contract. Right. And, and it's like, wow, you know, and I have to take a breath because yes, I I probably do um, give people the benefit of of the doubt. And I always try to try to make people see the big picture and not get caught up in the minutia. Um, And that's, that's one of my mindsets. Uh, You know, it's that, that um, I have this, one of the other steps is have this uh, attitude of abundance. So Mm -hmm. I always want these things to happen, these positive things to happen. I always want the sale to happen because I know not only do I deserve this, but my clients deserve it, you know, and the seller deserves it as well. Everyone deserves to make out in this deal. And that's what typically happens. That's the goal. Um, And I do, I just find it hard to process when people are kind of pushing against it. 
Yeah. You know, and that, that's Absolutely. my biggest struggle with the mindset is trying to convince people to stop getting in their own way kind of thing. Absolutely. And you mentioned a mindset of abundance. And when we're talking about that, a lot of time I like to think about, you know, when let's say you're an entrepreneur, you're we're we're independent contractors, we work, we have our own yeah. businesses, we're part yeah. of a team. And for me, when I'm going on a listing appointment, I am competing against unseen agents that they're interviewing. Sometimes they're interviewing three, four agents yeah, yeah. for you. You know, I'm, you're going to open houses. You're trying to, trying to get yep. people to sign up with you. And, you know, there are times they say no, and it's just, you have to have this mindset of abundance of like, okay, it's okay. They said, no, there, something else will yep. come. Yep. Something else will come. Okay. The market's not doing as well. I don't have as many listings it will come, right? Yeah. Okay, this is, you know, oh, look, well, instead of two townhouses, I'm selling one bigger home right now. And so, you know, just looking at it, framing it a little bit differently, because in this business where it is cyclical and competitive, and uh, just also looking at so many factors we can't control, like interest rates, yep. you have to be able to have that kind of mindset to be successful. Yeah, you have to know that no matter what, you're doing the things that are going to make you successful. Yeah, no, any you can sustain any downtime because you're doing the right things. You know, you're not. It, it's when you start questioning yourself. It's when you start, you know, doubting uh, your own abilities, and um, you have to know that you're incredibly uh, knowledgeable. You have to you have to continue and continually learn. And you have to be a sponge and and understand that thing. And if you're doing those things and you're doing that process, yeah, you're you you know that you're you're always going to be able to reap the benefit of of that that uh that work that work attitude that that right. work ethic. Um, so you have to believe in yourself, right? Yes, and, yes absolutely. And this is something that uh, Jay, one of our managing partners, always says. He's like, if you're in a an appointment, they can, they they smell. They, there's something oh, called yeah. com commission breath. Yes, right. That's what he calls it, commission yeah. breath. Yeah, it's like yeah. when you're in there and you're feeling yeah. like your numbers are low and you really need this commission. Like I need this one, right? They pick up on that so quickly. Oh, absolutely. So you absolutely. really you really have to go in there with the right attitude, the right perspective, and the right mindset. <laughs> <laughs> and I think we we all can fall into that at times, but it's also having the ability to see it, notice it, and, and pull back from it. Right. You know that that's that that comes with uh, with experience. But yeah, that's a conversation I have with a lot of our newer agents. Is you can't want it more than they do. You know, you can't go into a house and and yeah, there, there's those times when I'm showing houses and I know that this is the perfect house. This house is absolutely right, and and uh, you put a little more zhuzh in your you know, when you're when you're pointing out all the positive things about the home or when you're looking at the the price in the sheet and, and you're saying, well, this all this stuff adds up to awesome and you need to see it now. Often your client is like, no, it's not it. And you just want to shake them and go, no, this is it. But you can't want it more than that. Right. And, and the bottom line is it's not your money. It's their money and they can do whatever they want. And you have to be able to. Yeah. All right. I get it. Let's go. Let's find that next one. Then. This isn't it. Let's let's go find the one that is it. And uh, yeah, that is that is huge. And commission breath uh, stinks. Yeah, <laughs> no, it, it does. Absolutely. Does. absolutely. Yeah. If I'm in there and they're like, well, you know, I'm interviewing other people. You know, can you do any better in commission? Uh, like, right? Like that conversation that comes up uh, on the listing appointments, and you're just like, uh, sold. You know, whatever. <laughs> You have to be really, really like have the right conversation and, you know, read the room. <laughs> I'm sure I'm sure yeah. this is a, another topic that we're going to talk about later on. But sure, we can talk about uh, commissions like what do you, uh, I've it took me about a year, I think, to stand my ground on the discounts. Mm -hmm. Um You know, for a while there when I was, you know, brand new doing this and and uh you know, buyers would say, Hey, can you kick back some of your commission? I would, I would ultimately end up giving it to them, you know? Right. 
Um, and then one of our one of our teammates, uh, Harrison. I'll just call him out, Harrison. He's awesome, fantastic guy. He's been doing this for what, like twenty, um, over twenty years, right? He's been with the team for over twenty years. Wonderful agent, really smart. He said to me, "You know what, Eric? Uh, I'm not a discount agent." And he said, you get what you pay for. And anyone who's willing to give up their commission like that is willing to give up on a negotiation. He's willing or he or she is willing to just be pushed around. And you got to let your your seller know that or your buyer, that's not you. And and wouldn't you rather have someone who's going to go to the floor for you and go to the mat for you than someone who's just going to roll over? So, yeah, it took me about a year to to feel comfortable saying no to uh commission breaks commission yeah. ectomies and uh yeah, yeah it kind of after that first year i don't think i mean of course there's instances where you know maybe i'm working with a friend or a family member or something where i might help them out a little bit but no i don't i don't that's do the great. commission breaks anymore no i'm that's worth great. more that's yeah. good that's that's a great way of looking yeah. at it great mindset great right? perspective um, right yes that's that's amazing mindset. yeah <laughs> and and on my side, there's still always, you know, com- commission compression. It's happened, but yeah. learning, like, if they ask for a break, you don't have to give the farm away. They just want a little something. Uh, it could yeah. be a quarter percent. It could be, you know, a fraction. You don't have to always go down by halves or whole <laughs> points, you know, whole percentage points. Um, and that's just something that you realize as you, as you get along a little bit more, yeah, it's like, yeah, Oh, okay. Yeah. You know, yeah. they're just asking for, to show a little flexibility. We can show a little flexibility. With but there's so many, away. there's so many other things you can do besides yeah. just reducing commission. That, that's Absolutely. the thing. That's and I true. Think, yeah. yeah. People don't, people don't use their, their creativity to come up with. Other oh ways yeah. To, to I, I love doing um, variable rate. Jamie is, was the, master of this actually and he's taught a lot of us is variable rate commission so we this is a whole topic we can talk about yeah we need that that sounds great yeah we're we're running up on time right now yeah um but that sounds awesome i want to hear about that yeah yeah it's just a creative way of doing it commission yeah variable rate commissions wow and you know depending on vrc a vrc the (laughs) the more money you get your client the more commission they're paying you yeah, I love the VRC. We're gonna the have VRC. to VRC. Right? I know we got to have right. Jamie on to kind of talk about it. All maybe. right, that's it. That's it. Next <laughs> week, uh, Mr. Producer. No, no, not next week. But at, what, uh, when we're done with the schedule, we already have set in stone <laughs> that we can add. All right. Well, I think I think we've uh, we we've talked about mindset. Uh, is there anything you know? Like, do we need to put a cap on this? And uh, you know, I, I just I, I guess a couple other things is um, uh, it, it's all for me mindset it's always about learning something new um and and trying to do the things that i'm not comfortable with doing um and it, i don't want to say staying uncomfortable but that's kind of it you know it, like sometimes it's hard for me to make those phone calls and and i just have to i have to do it you know so it it, it is about embracing that uncomfort uncomfortability and still being able to do it yes yeah. Absolutely. All right. Sounds good. Um, okay. Well then I think we're gonna take another break. And we are back again with our market perspective. Nicole, what are you seeing? What's going on in your world in real estate? So I'm not sure what's been in the water, but after on our side, a little lull in appointments, I've been going on a lot of listing appointments. Now, these people are not necessarily selling this minute or even necessarily in the next six months, but they are starting to think ahead very seriously about selling in either... um, a lot of them are telling me 25 actually 20 spring of 25 is what they're planning i know right but but i will say in these conversations you know and the people i'm meeting are all retiring relocating out of the area i mean they're planners they're planners that's why they're calling me this soon um and i'm talking to them about the market conditions and what happens if there is a sudden drop in interest rates 
right? We've talked about this. What would yep. happen? That yep. unicorn scenario for sellers yep. where all, everyone gets off the bench, prices go through the roof. Mm -hmm. And I've asked them all, do they want to be on my unicorn watch list? I came up with that myself. Unicorn and watch list. Okay, wait, wait. That's a, <laughs> that's a UWL. A you UWL. Your acronyms. Your I acronyms. Will, I know three, you like that. The rule of three. Yeah. But essentially, you know, if this happens, are they willing to jump in? And they and they're all saying yes. Like they will, if it's that good, they will sell. They will get off the bench. They will sell and they will rent for a while if they need to. So I'm excited about this idea because. I'm telling you, if this scenario happens in the next year, I mean, I've got my uh, my little standby list of people ready to do All right. it. But will will your um will your UWLs get a VRC? I have no idea. I cannot remember VRC. <laughs> oh, variable rate commission. Ah, I need a little cheat sheet in the corner. <laughs> I had to write it down because I didn't think I could get it out. I was like, I dun, wrote dun, it down. Dun. yeah, the commit. No, well. We'll see. We'll see. Um, all right. All right. So so uh, on my side, um, it's a buyer's market. I know I've said before that uh, this is as much a buyer's market as I've ever seen, but it is. I mean, it really is. Uh, and it's 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 kind of screwed up because there is no inventory. Um, it is so low on inventory right now. Um, but we I mean, the ones I've most recently ratified home inspections gotten uh uh subsidies um perfect uh closing dates you know we're getting more with the offers that we are we're ratifying however there's just not a lot to pick from um right. and a lot of buyers are sitting back too uh they're they're sitting on the sidelines which i don't i don't subscribe to that um i think if you're ready to buy i think it is it's important to try to buy now. And mainly because when that rate, they're all, we're going to wait for the rates to dip. And when the rates dip, guess what? Everyone's coming out yep. and you're going to compete with 30, 40, 50 people. And on, you're going to say, awesome I should have done it yep. last year. I should have yep. done it six months ago. I mean, you don't want to be in that, you know, in, in that way, the sellers on the sideline are, are doing the right thing. If you have that flexibility and you can choose to enter when it's the most, um, uh, what was the word? Like uh, the best return for you. Yeah, yeah. The ROI kind of <laughs> right, thing. Right, yeah, the best do. ROI you can do that. Although I would like them to sell sooner just for my own, you know. <laughs> well, same here. I need some, I need, we need some, some stuff. We need some stuff out there. And that's, that's the toughest part of uh, the buyer agent journey is when you're talking to folks and trying to get them motivated and excited about buying and you've convinced them that, yeah, this is the right time to, to look. And then there's just nothing to see. Um, right. that, that's a little tough. And then you're a cheerleader with, you know, going back to that mindset. Well, we're still going to look, you know, we're still going to be out there. But and it's more about being ready and prepared. And, you know, every weekend there is that one that's awesome. Mm -hmm. um, we just got to find it and we got to be. And if you're not, if you're if you're on the sideline and just kind of passively looking, uh, you can miss out if, right. if you're not ready. And and the, the last thing I'll say about that is, you know, truthfully, the last three that I ratified, it was the first time we went out. Wow. You know, and That's that says great. a lot. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like they think that they're going to be doing this for a long time. They think that this is a long process. We're going to go look, look and look. And then you get out there and you see the one you want. Right. So um, I know I'm complaining about there's not enough options, but uh it's more about quality than quantity when right. you're when you're doing these showing. So anyway, that's my perspective. That's your perspective. Um, thank you for for sticking with us for our market perspective. I'm not going to talk about perspectives any more than that. I won't even say the word perspective. Uh, but if you want to hear more about our perspective, come on back to the next show because we'll we're gonna we're gonna talk about that. We're gonna talk about we're gonna have uh, talks about VRCs and UWLs and what else. <laughs> What else? What other acronyms can we come up with? Um, uh, LOL. <laughs> oh, uh, some lols. All right. LOL, um, which, by the way, I I read somewhere is very old, and when you do LOL, you're obviously an old person. But, oh, is that yeah. what it is? That we're 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 grandpas now. Yeah, they, no longer they're doing cool LOL. To say LOL. So LOL. what's the new what's the new thing? I don't know. And me and and emojis <laughs> are terrible too. 
and oh, the ha, 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 emojis. Ha. Yeah, my kids always make fun of me for using emojis. So I'm like, what? What's wrong with an emoji? I like the like the little crying face. You know yeah. what I think? Okay, yeah, I'm, we're we're going over, but I think I've become the guy too much in text that I put uh, gifts in. Like uh, whenever yeah. I want to say that, I throw a gif in a in a in a text. Gif, 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 gif. Is it gif or gif, Mr. Producer? Mr. Producer. Thumb up for gif. <laughs> Thumb up for Jeff. Wow. He's not playing he's not, your he's game. Not, he's, he's not, not playing, playing with the us. game. It's fine. Whatever. We're off track. Anyway, right. don't forget to like and subscribe and, and give, give us, us five stars. Five stars. Yeah. Leave us a comment. And thank you for watching. Yes, as always. Or listening. Right? Watching, listening, absorbing. absorbing. Come on back again for more Real Agents of Fun. Real Agents of Change. And real, and real agents, agents of, real, of estate. real estate. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Yep, we're going to take another break. break. And then we're going to come back. And we're going to wrap it up with some good stuff. So we're going to have our uh, market perspective. Oh. Is it from over here? Is it from over here? What's your perspective? Is it up here? I know. Mr. Producer's like, what the hell is wrong with you? I don't know, man. Right. It's late. It's late, bro. All right. We'll <laughs> be go. right back. Bye.